Hello crafty people and welcome back. Today a swipe and a swipe with neon colours. So that you know is going to make me very happy. Now um, I am inspired today by a lady called Eileen Mays um, and also by another lady who has a YouTube channel called Julie Cuts and both of these ladies have taken my original starburst swipe design and did it with black. And I'm thinking why did this never occur to me? I love to swipe bright colours with black and yet I've never done a starburst swipe that way. So today, inspired by you two ladies, I'm going to give it a try myself. I have got some amazing neon colours. These are all Deco Art Americana from their neon range. Let me take the tops off. I don't have the original bottles because those are all empty. I've thrown them away but I've got the leftovers here in my little cups. And I've also written down the names. So we have uh, Fiery Red, Torrid Orange, Thermal Green, Scorching Yellow and Sizzling Pink. There's also a fantastic electric blue colour, but I've used that in another painting I don't have anymore. So I need to get some more of that fantastic blue. So I am just going to make it with uh, these neons. Also just the regular lamp black. All of my paints are, they come in the little two ounce, two ounce uh, regular kind of deco art bottles. So they're all mixed 50-50, one to one with the deco art pouring medium. And then in order to encourage some cells, I just have a few drops of the treadmill bill silicone in each color, including in my black. So because I don't have a whole bunch of these colors, some of them, not very much, particularly the orange, um, and there's not a lot of contrast. What I'm going to do is actually put a black layer down first of all and then I'm going to pour the colours on top and swipe with the black. So we'll see how that goes. Let me go those off to one side. I'm going to cover my canvas in black and then I'll see you back here for the colours. Okay my black is down and I think I'm going to start with the fiery red in the centre. But I have to be aware that my rings as they get out as they get out from the center are going to be larger so it's no good trying to do the orange ring last because i don't have very much orange paint so that needs to be towards the center so i think i'll do some red first let's see see if i can eyeball it so it's a little bit central make myself a little ring to start typically the i find that the color that i put in the center um, gets covered up a lot by the black and doesn't show as much so I think I'll start off with a little bit of the red and then I can also put some more of that out around later on, if I need to. We'll see how far these leftover paints go. Bit more. All right, that's probably enough. Now let's go with that orange. I don't have very much. So now I've got that my basic ring in place I'm just going to pour the others and I'm also I think not going to take it right out to, whoa oh I've got the window open it's blowing the paint. Um, I'm not going to take it right out to the edge this side this time either. I think I'm going to leave um, a bit of black because that should contrast nicely around the outside. So what next? Some yellow Then this sizzling pink. Very good. And our green. That looks like it needs a little bit of a stir. I've also noticed that um, when I use the deco art pouring mediums for the paints, these honestly have been mixed up, I don't know, well over a month, maybe even 
probably even over two months. I can't remember since I did the, the last time with them. And I took the tops off of these and mixed with the paint and the, and the deco art pouring medium. They were just absolutely perfect. Um, whereas in the past, if I've used other pouring mediums or Floetrol, I take the top off. They're kind of separated, you know what I mean? And um, I've often needed to add some more water. But with these, they were just exactly the same as when I poured them. So that's um, always handy. A line of this green around the outside. And I think that's enough. Okay. Pop those off to one side so I don't make a mess. Oh, I've already made a mess all over my surface. Okay, so I have got some of these paint sample cards from the DIY store, which I'll use to swipe. And I think I will start off with those in my main directions. Oh, messed up already. Um, and then I can switch to some which I've just cut in half if I need to in fill. So let's get my paper towel out the ready so I can swipe, I can wipe off my card. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, I need to put a bit more black, I think, in the middle because that is going to be my swipe color. So let's get a bit more black in there and then I can swipe that over the other colors. Okay, here we go. Oh, fabulous. Oh my goodness. Why have I not done this before? I love black and bright colors together and these neons are fantastic with black. Oh, that looks so good. Now I'm happy. Let's do a bit more down into the corners. Oh yes, oh yes. I think I need to wipe off a bit more. I want to keep that center nice and black, not transfer the colors too much. And there we go. Now, I need to just clean up, get a fresh um, paper towel and start again with the smaller ones. Okay, a bit more black in the center. Where it's getting a little bit thin there. Now I'm gonna swipe in between. Just with little small swipes. Well, that looks good. If there are little gaps between the swipes, where you see bits of colour which aren't swiped, I'm good with that too. I don't think you can go wrong. Need a bit more black. You can see it's getting a bit thin there. And again. think it's done. I need to touch up a little bit of a black in the middle there. Just spread that around so there's not a thin patch. And let's take a look. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Very happy with that in fact. There's a little, little bit of other colour there in the middle which I'm going to just pull out. A little bit of green. And now let's go over it with my torch just to get rid of any bubbles that we've created by swiping the paints over each other. And I think I am done. Well, there we go. Black and neon, especially these decor neon paints, they really are the best. I absolutely love them. And I'm really, really happy. The details in this are fantastic. The cells that it makes. If you use the deco art pouring medium, together with the combine it with those paints, the deco art paints, and just a few drops of the treadmill oil, swipe them and it gives the most amazing cells. I'm going to bring the camera down now so that you can take a closer look. There we go. I think you can see the details. 
I just love, love, love how this paint makes cells. Absolutely beautiful. And the black lace in and amongst all of these colors, it looks so good. I don't know why I have not done this before. Swiping with black is just fantastic. Look what it does. Absolutely amazing. I know I can't pick a favorite part. All the parts of this painting are already my favorites. I think maybe the outer edges, I like the outer edges more than the inner where there's a bit more black because I think there's more color out here. And look what it does where just you get the, the, um, the green swiping over the black. That looks really cool too. I'm right up to the edge. Oops, stuck my finger right in it. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So I can zoom out. There we go. And a final shot. Wow, that really is a starburst. I'm very, very happy with that. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to Eileen and Julie for the inspiration of making one of these with black. I feel a lot more black swipes coming on in the future. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you here again soon.